Uh, oh, he brought propane? I thought you might enjoy 7.5 gallons of pure premium Pro propane. <laughs> Are you kidding? No, I cook with mesquite. Give meat a nice taste of wood. And I cook with propane. Gives meat a nice taste of meat. Thank you. Hey, whatever. Some cultures <laughs> like mesquite, some prefer propane. Khan <laughs> Supernusapon. Ah, okay. You honor me by giving me gas. <laughs> Doggy's just like me. He's new in town and he's only got one friend. Yeah, but at least you're not tied up. If I were, I'd just dislocate my shoulders and slip out of the knot. I'd chew through the leash. I bet it tastes just like a Bible cover. <laughs> is it a Bible cover? They belong together. And it's fun to watch... No, they just, they just wanna fuck. There you go, boy. Go play with Ladybird. Be with your true love. Wait, oh, good. Come back. There goes Doggy. She's so pretty in her little yellow sundress. Oh man, you are so sweet. I could just mix you up in some jello and eat you for dessert. Oh, Piggy here, look at husband. Too bad men don't get along like we do. We get along. I think men get along very well as compared to women getting along. Because if we have a problem about something, we will actually say about that problem. You you guys know what I mean. Stupid. Women's mind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That, that is true, though. That's impossible. I never gave you the... Oh. Where'd you get my granny's recipe? I <laughs> figured it out myself. And then oh. make it better. Her recipe missing one thing. Flavor. I beg your pity. Oh, shit! Flavor. Now it tastes much better. Don't you think of Peggy him? Please to try a Peggy Brown Betty. Would you like a Peggy Brown Betty? It's tasty, delicious. Well, Peggy, to be honest, I have always had trouble keeping your brown Betty down, but this here is pure heaven. Oh no, she didn't. Oh. Okay, at this point, he's just wasting meat. Please go away. Please, Con, you're burning them. That's too much char. Shut mouth that open mouth. Hey, mm. <laughs> tastes good? <laughs> Boy, howdy. That is the best damn burger I ever ate. Stop, stop pushing. There's enough for everyone. <laughs> Makes me practice violin five hours a day. My dad won't let me watch TV more than five hours a day. White people problems. That's <laughs> 2,000 words. Asian problems. SAT. He's such an autocrat. What's a SAT? <laughs> There's nothing these people can't make better. First the automobile, then the color TV, and now the hamburger. The cameras. <laughs> A dash of nutmeg, Hank. A dash of nutmeg. Oh, thank you here. Your husband likes burgers so much, they give you a recipe. Now you can please him. Uh. <laughs> what country he's from? Any man who can make a burger like that is okay by me. See, see, like, guys get along so easily. See, that's happened. That, like, there, I think Hank is fine with him now. On the other hand, women. Oh, you said it. Boy, it was so good, it's almost a shame to lose it to the process of digestion. <laughs> How about you, Dale? How many you got under your belt? Zero. He didn't eat? Okay. Don't eat, dog. Huh? <laughs> Woo! -hoo! Yes! Asian people are eating dogs. No, they don't ran away. Here are the facts as I see them. Okay, Dale. Con served you dog. Con did not serve us dog. <laughs> That's just an awful stereotype. <laughs> Chinese people don't really do that. They do. They do. Easy enough to put nutmeg in Brown Betty. Well, they'd be crazy enough to do anything. I, hey, even if they, they did feed us dog, you know, who are we? Huh? Who are we to judge other cultures? You know, maybe they're on to something. No. Now we need a dog. Come on. See? Right here. It says chopped meat, not chopped dog. Dog is meat. Mm. You said it, friend. <laughs> oh. I was, I was trying to get that off the taste off my fingers. Do you like that meat or do you like the fact that you ate a dog? I think he liked the fact that he ate a dog. I'm looking for dog. Sweet, sweet dog. Have a big barbecue today and dog run out. <laughs> oh. Good lord, it's true. Oh, I call you back. Thank you. What a nice.
no surprise. Hey, Khan, come quick. Your best friend is here. Oh, oh no. Uh, uh, that's okay. <laughs> you? Oh, no. Tentamon, oh. what you doing? Ah, you ruined my yard, you crazy redneck. <laughs> <laughs> Ladybird's a bloodhound. Maybe she can find Doggy. Yeah. Come on. Oh, now their dog will go missing and they'll be like, okay, they... <laughs> Oh no! My God, Dale, you were right. Their dog is gone. <laughs> Men on the phone with some kind of doggy butcher. She was placing an order. This is very dangerous. They know that you know, and now they gotta come after you. Oh, they're gonna eat you. They'll probably get you with a blow dart. That's their way. <laughs> but you'll just think it's a mosquito blow bite dart. until you die. <laughs> then you'll know the truth. <laughs> Shoot people, human meat's tough, flavorless. They should be out hunting for more dogs. <gasps> no, no more dogs. Good God, he's got Ladybird. It's still wet. Maybe there's time. Come on. The dead is weird. Oh, come on. I've been hit. Quick, somebody suck out the poison. This is very creepy, Hank. This is creepy as fuck. Oh, oh shit. Oh, no, Ladybird! <laughs> that psycho redneck is back. <laughs> Enough, now. Get my bat. <laughs> Go away! I do nothing wrong. Look, Con, I understand that life is valued differently in your part of the world. I call the police. If anyone's <laughs> gonna be calling the police, it's gonna be me. Yeah. Please! What do you want from me? Give me my dog back or else. Oh, ha, ha. Top guy. I'm so scared. <laughs> we lost the dogs. You what? <laughs> you mean you... The, the dogs... They're still alive? Yes. What do you think happened? Well, I... Uh, you ate them. That, that's what he thought. Bobby, you really screwed up this time. Con Jr., you fall in with a bad crowd. You made me <laughs> fight with my neighbor. You made the neighbor man crazy. Go, Go to your, your room. room. Oh, they're gonna... Go to your room? Huh. I say go to your room now they're gonna be friends you spank no sir oh spank don't believe in it no me neither i think it barbaric how about bed without dessert never fail huh we may deny our kids completely different desserts but they both go to bed hungry and that's what <laughs> really matters well <laughs> guess we're not hungry kids go. matters <laughs> i'm running out of time give me the antidote man Somebody give him the antidote. This is my granny's five alarm jambalaya. Mmm. What is it missing? You want less hot, more spicy. Mm -hmm. Add nutmeg. Less hot, more spicy. Add nutmeg, of course. Okay. Aunt Laverne's chicken fried chicken. More spicy nutmeg. Add nutmeg. <laughs> and this here is my very own rabbit stew. Oh, rabbit. You rednecks will eat anything. Well, guys, that about this episode of King of the Hill, where we got our first Asian character in this, which I'm probably gonna see more of him, I guess, because he's the new neighbor now. And he does not eat dogs. That's a good thing. That's a very good thing. Don't eat a dog. Never eat a dog. For some reason, I don't know why, but they drew the Asian character already angry. Like from his face, you can tell. Okay, he's he's already angry. Uh, what? Is that some sort of a stereotype thing? Maybe. But Dale, Dale, Dale. Dale was so convinced that he was poisoned by a mosquito. What, what's it called? Throw dart? Yeah. And boy, he was wrong. The whole episode, Khan and Hank, they just fought. And then they both agreed on one thing. is to not feed your kids if they were bad. Just don't feed your kids. Let your kids sleep empty stomach. Which is a horrible idea, but that's how parents are, I guess. I come come under Asia too, so I'm Asian too. Yeah, you guys know. And yeah, so my parents, yeah, they've been difficult. They've been um, they've been very strict to me when I was a kid. Very very strict. No, no, I won't say my dad. My dad was the sweetest guy. He never actually never slapped me in my, in my entire life. Never. He actually never did. I, I can't even remember when when he like yelled at me or something. I don't remember. He might have, but I don't remember. But my mom, on the other hand, yeah. She has beaten the crap out of me a lot of multiple times, a lot of times, so many times. 
and the next day i used to go to the school with a lot of scratches on my face a lot of blood marks on my face on right over my ear because my mom would actually take the nails and yeah it was, it was when i think about it it's very very bad <laughs> but she loves me she loves me a lot and after every beating after like when she used to beat the crap out of me she used to cry and then say why you didn't you don't study why you are like this and why you and not be smart enough like other kids so that she don't have to beat me well her her teaching thing her teaching method were a little different i understand but she she's a great great mother and yeah she still is well guys that was this episode of king of the hill hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye, -bye. Say goodbye.